Hey guys, I'm Jay. And I'm Lisa. We're our Simple Adventures. Last week we were far south Phoenix at that mystery castle. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, kind of a short video, but uh, now we're far, far north Phoenix at the Pioneer, Pioneer Village Living Museum. Living History, Arizona, so, somewhere in there, museum. And also Telephone History Museum. So let's go check this out. Looks like they're doing some construction here. Let's go into the uh, tele, the history of the telephone. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back to them Okay, I guess if you're in Phoenix and interested in telephones, a lot of history there. You know, we're, I'm, we're only showing you, you know, bits and pieces of uh, this stuff, otherwise the video would be way too long. So I'll always know anything we do, there's more to see than what we show you. Now we got a bunch of... Uh... Painted along the wall. Huh? Painting on the wall. Painting on the wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know, yeah, supposedly this is a... These are mostly original old buildings. A little, little town. They, they, they... Oh, you know, we, we just learned... Uh... Okay, there's a bear right out there. And you, you guess why I pointed out the construction? Apparently last April, during the middle of the night, a car came in, in off the off the freeway, off the I-17 up, up here, and just came right straight down the parking lot and crashed right in right into the front of the uh, mercantile building. So apparently nobody got hurt, so that's good. Okay. I'm hearing gun, gunshots from over, over the over the mountain there. Over ben, the range. Yeah, the Ben Avery uh, shooting range. Huge shooting range. No, Known all around the world, just on the other side of this mountain here. Okay, an opera house. A dark opera house. Huh. Okay. Go up on stage here. Backstage. You guys can't hardly see, I know. But... Huh. Didn't, didn't say keep out. Kind of creep, creepy in here. Yeah, there's a Pioneer RV resort that's just 
over here, like three, you know, like quarter mile, we drove through. Real nice RV resort. So I might consider that one next time we're back. Okay. You got the you got the uh, all right corral back there. I guess that's not as good as the okay corral. Um, they got this tied off so we can't get in. They got it all tied off so we can't get in. Got the undertaker there. Caskets, balming, embalming, special funeral, $39. Oriental Cafe. I didn't think you were supposed to say Oriental anymore. Claim office, mining claim office. Oh, okay, yeah, this is the, the gunfight area. We don't get in the middle of a gunfight. Gunfight area. Yeah. Sheriff's office. Goldwater, that's named for Arizona. Oh, yeah, Goldwater. It's in Barry Goldwater. Maybe. Got the sign over there saying, so warning, the carrying of firearms is strictly pro prohibited within town limits. Well, that's, that's how that, then they wind up with gunfights. Gun-free zone, you have to find time gunfights. Beautiful day. Wish we could get in there. You, you guys know I like to touch stuff. Oh, look at that bike. What do you call those with a big, big front wheel and little back wheel? I don't know if you guys can hear those gunshots or not. There's the miracle girl. Feel the old farm equipment. That's cool. If you guys are, if you, if you're new to the channel, go go back uh, several videos to to the medical or look at the medical emergency playlist. See how far this this lady's come in, in four and a half months. Truly miraculous. Thank you, God. Uh, speaking of that, um, Chris, my brother Chris asked me yesterday, like, how close to 100% are you? And I said, uh, I bet she's 90% or, or 85%. What, do, what, do, what you, what would you say you are? Um, wow, that's tough. I would say I'm probably closer to 85%. Okay. I see, there's still some, yeah, there's still things I can't do. But it's more fine motor stuff. Yeah, yeah, motor, fine motor skills, yeah. And then, like, I can't run or lift to stand on my toes yet, so that's about 80. Now, 80, when was the last 80? time you ran anyway? Well, I know. <laughs> but at least I could. I mean, somewhat, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do that now. Okay, we're at the Merrick Farm here. Looks like we can at least maybe come and touch it. It's got a paddle lock on it. I guess this is probably an old grain silo, you think? Like a well? No. Maybe an old grain silo? Well, I don't, I don't know. Let's take a look. Huh. I don't know. I don't know why it needs to be. Hmm? It looks big. Oh, yeah, there's the outhouse. When I was a kid, my, uh, Grandpa, Grandma still lived on lived on a farm when I was a little kid, and uh, they, all they had was an outhouse. They had running water, but they didn't have a, a sewer or a toilet in the house. But yeah, I used to we'd visit them for Christmas and have have to you know have to come out and use that in the freezing cold, Iowa. It's like the guy we can peek in, but uh, can't go in. Okay, this is this is the Merrick Farmhouse re relocated from Glendale, Arizona. Which is just, you know, it's a suburb, suburb of the city too, to the west. Yeah. Very cool. I wish we could walk through this stuff. I was thinking, I was thinking we'd be able to walk through it. Wood burning stove. Let's go around the other side. I'm going to. Um, I, 
I, I love history. Old stuff. Oh, in a bedroom. It just seems comforting. And, and, and stuff like this, the old stuff, history, huh? antique stuff. Yeah. It's just kind of com comforting. Looks comfortable in there, even though I'm sure that mattress is far from comfortable. What's this, like a, I guess this would be like a summer kitchen. Gotcha. Yeah. Kitchen tier. Stove over there. Well, the sink room didn't have a stove in it. In mm -hmm. it they, where they ate or whatever were kitchen area, it wasn't really a kitchen. They didn't eat. Um, they didn't cook in there. There? No, the other room. Then I didn't see it. But you know, especially in Arizona, they had the kitchen kitchen separate. Yeah. The heat. Probably always in our summer, but year round. Always. The chicken house has still got some chickens. Or no. Chickens here. No, there's just other birds. Oh yeah, there is. There's chickens in there. I'll come around here and let's say hello. Oh, what's the matter? What are you guys doing? You laying eggs? We could you should be making good money with the eggs. What you get out of the ten bucks for eighteen eggs? Modern day outhouse. Okay, this is a print shop. Replica, eighteen ninety. Building based on shop located in Phoenix. Print shop. Freedom of the press. Can any, any of you uh, recite the five elements of the First Amendment? Right, freedom of press, free speech, freedom to redress your government, freedom to peaceably assemble. Is that five? If that's not five, let me know if the last one is then. We should all know our our rights, our Bill of Rights. Bear guns? Huh? Bear guns? Have guns? That's Second yeah. Amendment. I was doing it for Dress shop. Reproduction, 1890s. Dress shop. Yeah, we got a bunch of rain here. This is Wednesday. Uh, rain all day Monday. I mean, literally. So some still water sitting around. Area closed for our safety. Okay, this is the blacks blacksmith shop. Looks like they rely on donations, just like we do. Hint, hint. Speak to that if, uh, if, you, if if you guys enjoy our videos, hit, hit the like. Hit the like, thumbs up. Um, I'll be sure hit, hit the notification bell so you know when we post. And uh, if you want to support the channel, which we really appreciate, um, all this stuff costs money, and we got uh, anyway medical bills coming in. But uh, yeah, the thanks down in down in the right hand corner below the the uh, screen, there'll be a thanks tab. Thank Ann, if, if you, if, one of our followers. And we we like to thank Ann for. Her support last week. And if, if, throw us a couple dollars, that'd be nice. Okay, this looks like a uh, gold panning. 
must be a well out there. Paying for gold. Church. Oh. Enter, rest, and pray. 1879 St. Paul's, uh, I'm guessing Methodist Church in Globe, Arizona. Okay, it was reconstructed in 1968. Yeah, this would be where the uh, teacher to that one-room schoolhouse there would probably look right here. Oh. And this is original. I, I remember, uh, and I, I believe that is too. Got the mud pack in between. Cool. Lisa, what's that? Schoolhouse original. Yeah. It was a family that lived in it, and then they grew it. So they moved on and then changed into a run, run new schoolhouse. That is cool. For, like, or 40 years. What, what years? 1880 something to 1922. 1880 to 1922. Here in Phoenix? So 42 years, yeah. Very cool. For those of you that don't know, Lisa's a Gordon Canyon. retired school teacher. So. Take a little extra interest in it. The Northern House. This building is, is an example of saddle and rider notching technique. Okay, yeah, how it's built. It's probably built around 1885. This original, okay. Home belonged to Jeff Newman who arrived in Arizona prior to 1886 with his family. Oh, well, that's a nice place. Huh. Very nice. Okay, here's the sheriff's office. Okay, this is a reconstruction of uh, 1881 Adobe building, um, which stood in Globe, Arizona. Yeah, see how it's... Yep. What do we got? We got two cells, accommodations for six, uh, ten, accommodations for ten. Sometimes you didn't wind up there, you wound up here. Platform, I guess. Oh, the gallows. Reproduction. Erected in 2019. Boy, they made it look old. Who, who, can, uh, who can say what this is? Well, you're, you're right, it's a, it's a manure spreader, a horse-drawn manure spreader. Horse pull, <laughs> do you know that was a manure strip spreader? Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. I thought it was come, come out of fertilize the thing. Fertilize the fields with it. Ah. Oh, well, this has opened up. Nice. Reproduction of an 1884 building. Wake up. Wake up. He's sound asleep. We haven't seen a, uh, a saloon yet. There's gotta be, gotta be a saloon. Okay, what we got here, Jet General Store. Doing it, some banging on generator over there. Well, that's a little general store. There's one of those old phones. 
I guess it's a little town. And this is Smith and Dodd's. What's a ton tonsorit parlor? Tonsorial. Ton ton oh tonsorial, what is it? Dennis, I believe. Oh reproduction or oh, barbershop. Hot baths, oh barbershop. You have shave and haircut, can also get minor detail, dental and medical treatments. Oh yeah. Wheelchair. Huh. I'm not gonna have the some red, some guy give me a bath. What? Red and white blue. Oh red, yeah. Red, white, and blue. Yeah. Symbolizes red blood, white bandages, and blue veins. Oh. This will come back from the Middle Ages. Learned something today. Okay, well that's kind of that was kind of neat. I liked it. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, just, I, we, we, we love history and, and this kind of stuff. History of anything, really. Old stuff, anything which you guys <laughs> have seen. But uh, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, love each and every one of you. Truly appreciate you, you watching. Um, hit that notification bell so you get notified when we post. And uh, what else? See us on our next adventure. We will we'll see, see you. Guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.